Greetings and salutations. I'm Nick. And I'm Ahmed. And these are the finest things. For this episode of The Finest Things, we are covering the Goose Island Bourbon County Mon Cherie Stout. Uh, it's an exclusive offer for the 2019 brewing year, um, and we're going to check it out um, here on The Finest Things. You know, I think uh, in general, something I like to do uh, is let's check out uh, the, the brewery, right? Mm-hmm. You know, what do they have to say about their product? Uh, what do they think the, the flavor profile is like, the color, what should we get on the nose, you know, all the nerdy sure. things. Yeah, definitely. So um, I went ahead and uh, pulled off of Goose Island's website um, about this particular um, uh, beer, what we should expect. Um, and it uh, looks like they're tasting notes. They're talking about getting flavors of... Um, you, you, you get flavors of cherry cobbler, vanilla, chocolate, followed by a silky, velvety finish, as they uh, as they claim. Um, and this this particular the Mon Cherie Stout, um, it's brewed with uh, two different types of cherries, and and you'll have to forgive me, I'm probably going to butcher the pronunciation here, um, but uh, uh, Bellington and uh, Montmorency uh, uh, cherries. Uh, I'm sure somebody, uh, one of our viewers, might be able to help us out with the uh, correct pronunciation. Yeah, probably better there. than I would have said. Um, so. uh, but um, yeah, it's 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 very interesting. So um, Mon Cherie uh, actually means my darling in French, um, and uh, th- this recipe. You is effectively a love letter uh, from one of the brewers, uh, Quinn, to his wife, who is very much in love with cherries. Um, so uh, it should be very interesting. Um, they're saying the color is midnight black, um, which just at a quick glance here, uh, they're probably... Well, yeah, you, you, you can't see a damn thing through it. Uh, so <laughs> Quite opaque, I, I dare say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely not translucent. No, no, um, certainly not. So, yes, uh, th- that seems accurate. What are they thinking the sort of flavor profile nose uh, looks like? Well, so so uh, again, uh, you know, this is this is something where you're you're getting aromas of uh, amaretto and almond is the, is the big two that they're mentioning here. Aside from saying, okay, well, we're brewing it with the two different types of cherries. They're brewed with oats and a dash of brown sugar. Um, again, creating the uh, notes of amaretto and almond. The brown sugar is is big on the nose. Mm. Um, the, the, it's it, uh, oh, brown yeah, it sugar is. forward. It, it's really big. Um, you definitely get the sense that it's like granola. Yep. Um, you know, I, I would even say maybe like a granola drenched in amaretto. You know, the, the, that type of thing. Yeah, and again, that's fair. it's that's funny fair. because it relates kind of right back to what they're saying. It does. Um, but hmm, mm. the cherry definitely... is definitely like. Subdued. It is subdued. Uh, you get even more oats than cherry for that. Oats matter. for sure. Oats, um, brown sugar. Yep. Uh, uh, you know, I, I would I even get some say vanilla in there as well for the, yeah, for the barrel yeah. aging. Uh, like you can definitely tell that this particular beer has been aged in oak barrels. Like like there's some, uh, you know, yeah. definite uh, aggressive oak sort of profile. Sure, sure. I'm, get, I'm definitely getting like a you know ju- just a bit of barrel spice. Yep. That type of thing. That's hmm. fair. That's fair. Interesting. Um, All right, yeah. well, uh, let's, let's so we, taste. we covered the color. We co- we covered uh, what's on the nose. So now on the tongue. Um, yeah, it, it, typically, when it comes to uh, tasting, by the way, just a quick note um, of uh, the the proper tasting process. The first thing you do is you observe the beverage in question. Uh, you look at the color. You look at the consistency of it. Uh, the opacity um, of that particular beverage. In this case, where it's it's opaque. Um, then you go on to the nose. And and you know, keep in mind, eighty percent of what you taste is it, it comes from smelling um so so you definitely want to spend a good long time smelling your beverage in question um and then finally um you know you go to taste it um you kind of sip it like it's hot soup you kind of aerate um the, the beverage to to uh you get the aromas into uh the the olfactory gland area there one thing so i'll say you, you uh, sense it. that that we opted to do um you know from goose island's recommendation uh, yes. uh, is 
you know, we, we originally, well, it's a beer, right? We're going to yep. pour it in a, a beer glass, uh, you know, a pint yep. uh, with uh, a handle. With a stein. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A yeah. pint glass there. Um, yeah. And, but they actually recommend a, a snifter, you know, something you might use traditionally to drink brandy yep. or whiskey. Something a little more bulbous, gives yeah, you a little yeah, bit yeah. more on the nose. That, that sort of tulipy uh, curve. And, and what that's going to allow you to do is, is really... You really get the nose. Get a focused smell. Um Versus just a, a, a straight up open uh, yeah. pint glass, uh, which really doesn't offer much in the way of concentrating those aromas, sure. so that your nose can pick them up for yeah. for sure, definitely. And uh, you know, fortunately, I had these uh, Waterford glasses, which are, are actually optimized for uh, single malt Scotch, but I think they serve the purpose very well here. We're definitely getting all of the concentrated aromas that Goose Island is suggesting that we're getting, um, so I don't I don't think that's a, a big issue there. Um, really looking forward to tasting this, though. I think uh, we should just dive right in. Prost. Thank you. You know, you don't get a lot of cherry on the nose. But right as that goes down the gullet, it's like, whoa, dark fruit. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, like overripe cherry. Oh, yeah. Uh, deep, deep yeah. dark cherry. Yeah, like, like, really, like, really maybe nice. even like a dry cherry in that sort of amaretto kind soap of at granola. the back of the mouth as well. Yep. Definitely. And, that, yeah. and that's where I'm getting a bit of a, a bit of the smoke, a, a bit of the uh, sort of uh, barrel spice. Yeah, there is some smoke to mm -hmm. it, which is not something that Goose Island mentions specifically sure. um, on their website, but it, it's definitely something that that I'm I'm getting as well. I, again, kind of at the back of the palate, uh, a little further up, um, whereas the cherries kind of sit down low. Again, toward the back of the palate, up front. You get more of uh, more of the oats um, mm -hmm. and more of the vanilla as well. Up well, yeah, the, the, very the oats, the vanilla, the, the the brown sugar. Oh yeah, the you brown know, those sugar are center definitely stage, there. right? Yeah, that that are. that's the middle of the frame. As you start to 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 veer off a little bit, it's okay. I think the next thing right away is the the dark fruits. Yep. Um, that that's sort of the next ring. And you know the cherries they they uh, they, they almost remind me of uh, like that bar that we go to Savoy Tap Room. Yeah. Um, uh, where they have the uh, the cherries that are soaked. I believe it's in a rum or mm. um, uh, some type of alcohol. Yeah, they're uh, like but candy almost. Yeah, yeah. yeah, well, yeah, uh, yeah. well, they they do brulee them for that one particular beverage, um, and uh, that sort of flavor profile is is kind of reminiscent of the cherries that I'm getting here. It's, it's yeah, cherries. yeah, yeah. Not not like a normal cherry. Um, you know, but but like something that that mm. has been uh, sort of brulee, but, but yeah, the I, I like the comparison to the rum there yeah. because it has a you know rum often has that like spicy brown sugary sort it of does, like bite, yeah. um, and and this has got that and you know I, part of it I think is to that high ABV. Yep, um, for sure, and and fourteen point one percent alcohol by volume is is very uh, it, it's it's up there as far as mm. beer is concerned. I, I've I've had higher ABV like. Um, Dogfish Head Worldwide South, for example, is about 20% ABV. So Which is uh, insane. Right. You're it's, getting to the point where, you know, some people might start shooting that, you know, taking shots of it well, 20%. Yeah, yeah, not, yeah, not the beer, yeah, but, uh, but but of, you know, something of like something. soju, sake. Right, that which are all up there in the that world. 20%. Yeah, exactly. 15 to 25 um, Fortified wines yeah, yeah. are up there in that 20 Right, yeah, yeah some ports well. and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but, um, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely like, you know, in contrast to that, the Dogfish Head Worldwide South, which is... Almost, almost syrupy, uh, molasses-like sort of coating on the tongue uh, that it provides. Here, you're not really getting uh, like the super thick coating on the tongue. Like there's a long finish; it lingers and 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 it kind of evolves as it goes. Like it's been a little bit now since I've had my beverage, and and I'm still tasting that beer. And very much, I'm getting the brown sugar. I'm getting some of the cherries left over. Mm. You know. It's it's definitely very tasty. Getting um, kind of yeah. like a, like coffee grounds. Yeah, in an abstract like, like, way, like but... like, a, like a roasted espresso bean kind of. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Like 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 eating a roasted espresso bean. Yep, that makes uh, sense. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And um, you know that that's definitely all there. The the finish lingers, and that's that's a, an indicator right there of a really well done beverage, regardless of what beverage it is. Any 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 truly well done beverage that's worth its salt, I believe. Um, is is going to have that extended finish, um, and they, they say it's a silky, velvety finish. I suppose that's fair because it, it is quite smooth. So this is the finest things. Yeah. What's that cost? Oh, uh, it's. Uh, I think I paid twenty six dollars for that uh, at the beverage center. So that's a lot. 
It is. For, um, for, for a beer. And again, that's the idea of the It's not just things. a beer, though. I, yeah, I agree. You know, it's, it, this is a Black Friday special. Goose Island only puts this out on Black Friday. And Pretty most unique for places, a beverage. Yeah, and most places will sell out day of. Sure. Uh, you know, I had to stand in line to, to get this, and um, I actually went over to another beverage center, and I managed to get another one as well that I'll be putting away uh, for aging. I appreciate um, you, Nick. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it, it'll be fun in a few years to see how it's developed in the bottle. Yeah. should be fun. No, and, and, and that's another funny thing where it's like that that's what makes this quite different different yeah um than than a lot of other beers it, it's something someone would age absolutely you know, this is not something you, you would or even you should drink every day mm -mm. not only because of its cost no because so some people can afford to do this every Correct. single day it's but, not but that's not the point that. number one it would be an overwhelming sort of flavor to be oh yeah drinking every day you can't have um, this with like a salmon no, or, or, no, or a no, salad no. like it's just not yeah, gonna you're, you're work you're no longer even eating the salmon you're just like okay uh, yeah. this i'm is just filling. gonna douse yeah, this yeah. with beer exactly. you may as well at that point like are you gonna taste that salmon i i, I don't think so no no you would uh, need like a beef wellington like you were saying sure. before. yeah 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 um or or like a pot roast or 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 you know a, a strong pork dish something that can really stand up to this Asabuco. Sort of oh yeah yeah Goodness, yeah, Asabuco, yeah. you're making me hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Asabuco, uh, that would actually go really well with this. Uh, you know, something with like the caramelized onions. Uh, you think anyone together. in the world looks dumber than we do when we both go and and, 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 and suck air through our teeth like that? Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's something the viewers should comment on. Yeah, that'd be fun. Uh, yeah, do that. See, see if we uh, do look that. dumb. I, I, I don't know. I, I feel uh, like we look fairly dumb. This is our first video that we're doing now. It's, yeah, yeah, know. yeah. First of many, right? Hopefully. Mm. But um, absolutely, for so many. So again, the idea of the finer, uh, oh, sorry, the, the, finest, the finest things. things yes. Yeah. Um, so the the idea of this sort of video subset is that it's it's uh, something that is definitely above what we'll say is normal cost for a beer, right? Even for a real mm. good beer, you you really wouldn't expect to pay more, maybe more than like let's say eight bucks. Yeah. To pay more than eight dollars for a beer is like oh wow, certainly we're spending, no more than ten. We're spending a lot of money on a beer. Oh yeah, uh, absolutely. And, and and this is more than double that. Yep. You know, in the case of eight dollars, you know, triple that. Yep. Um. So, is it worth it? Oh, I believe it's worth every penny. Personally, I I I feel that something this complex you can't get in an eight dollar beer. Something this robust um there's usually a trade-off somewhere like in an eight dollar beer you can get complex you can get robust you can get high abv and you can get the enjoyment of drinking it but you can't have all four together and this is this is this beverage is offering me everything that i want in a beer in one glass without having to be like oh well i wish it was this or i wish it was that well no it i i've got everything that i want at least in a dark beer in a, in a stout sort of sure. sort of beer um i'm getting everything that i want out of this hey guys sorry for the cut obviously we're wearing uh different clothes now <laughs> uh, we had a little bit of technical difficulty um we do have it sorted out now so we're just going to give our closing thoughts on the uh goose island bourbon county um and <laughs> sort of you know movie magic cut it together with the rest of the footage we had from the original shoot um so i think uh we, we were summing it up as hey uh their descriptions were pretty on point yep definitely um, on point yeah uh you know uh, again to to be redundant just to reiterate um amaretto so granola uh deep funky dark like overripe fruit yep that boozy sort of cherry yep uh flavor there yeah like, um, like a brulee rum soaked cherry similar to yep. again the restaurant we go to yep. um savoy tap room yes yes um, great bar yeah yeah it really um is. and uh yeah definitely got the oats uh forward um very complex really really excellent there um and uh <sighs> lingering long long finish um and and you really got that um you really got like the smoke um and the um uh the the, the cherry was part of the finish yeah it was, and, um, but even it was, again that, that 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 like subtle meatiness yes um that 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 subtle uh, or not so subtle when you focus on it really the mm. uh, smoke yes um the sort of like you know 
roasted espresso bean. Uh, yeah, yeah, the aftertaste. roasted espresso beans. I forgot yeah. about that. That was and yeah. that that was a significant part of uh, the uh, of the palate. There was uh, that was that sort of roasted. Yeah, what, espresso once you bean. notice it, it's like whoa. Yep. Uh, and then and then uh, again going Kinda back hits to you, the, it's right there. Yep. Even the more obvious stuff, the vanilla, the barrel notes, um, and 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 that sort of funky almond. Yes. Um, yep, different the funky almond. Different beer. flavor. Uh, you know, again, even at the price point, not ex- not inexpensive. No, you know, certainly pr- not. Pretty costly, um, but very much worth it. Very much one of the finest things. Um, yeah, and I, I think that's pretty yeah, much our thoughts. It certainly covers it for sure. So look, guys, if you like the content, go ahead. You know, subscribe. Leave us a like. Leave us a comment. Um, tell us we're dumb and wrong because you know we probably are. Um, and you know, otherwise. Uh, you know, oh, if you actually want to subscribe, tap that bell, uh, because that is... <laughs> That's the know, actual subscribe the, yeah, button. <laughs> the, the actual subscribe button, if you actually want to see someone's content. Yeah, to get notifications that we have new content coming out. Correct, yeah. Uh, but um, thanks for watching.